Welcome everyone to the exercise 3B which is called navigating a map and in this exercise I've already opened um, you will start with that screen and as you may see on the left part so the table of contents there's one and two more layers available so one of it it's called diverging flight path we will open that one and have a look in the attribute table to get an idea about what is shown here this is just two polar lines which are um, represented by um, different symbols so one it's a probable way you can also adjust it but we will go to that later on and one is a planned way and there's a second layer called area of disappearance and as you may have noticed this symbol here is quite different or a little different than the others it's grayish which means that it is not shown beyond the le uh, the zoom scale or the scale of 1 to 100 million I think yeah so it is not visible in the moment the rest of the map is so we will zoom in and you already noticed the tools for that so there's a zoom in function we'll zoom in into this region and what will yeah so area of disappearance is now visible we will change the visibility so these are just same islands where um, they have searched for the plane of Emilia Earhart so what we will do now we will have a look into the probable region so go a little bit into detail once more so there's a flight path and first of all we will um, I think in this session um, yeah we have missed this, uh, the pan function but yeah yeah, so you can pan around and so we are now in the region where Amelia Earhart uh, was um, or disappeared so you can also zoom into that layer area of disappearance and zoom in once more um, what we will do now is we will make a bookmark for that view so therefore go to bookmarks create a new bookmark and what we will do is we will say it area of disappearance or no, maybe a little bit and of flight which is a little bit easier so okay and there are also bookmarks available in that project so they there are some so we will you can easily go to Nikamura Island where the probable path ended and you can also go to Howland Island where the uh, planned path ended and go back to end of flight so you will see that there uh, you will see the last extent which is quite easy to um, to change um, possible views on your project so what else can we do uh, we can use a function called um, magnifier or create viewer window so then you have to choose the area, uh, area where you would like to magnify it there it is and so in this one you can easily magnify as well by not leaving your home window so um, also you can go to the world map so on so this is more or less something like a second view on it on, or something like that so we will close that what we will do now we will calculate the distance between these both areas therefore use the distance or the measure tool the measure tool is already open so um, there are some possible changes in that so what we will do is we will measure the distance oh, where is the tool come on oh, there we are so um, we will measure the line distance in kilometers that is fine for the moment so oh, there we are and go back to the next so this is diverging flight paths endpoint which is great no oh, we missed that once more one from that so you can easily also 
use um, existing shape faults for your measuring, you'll go to the diverging flight path. And so the length of that is 768 kilometers. So you can save your work now, like I have shown you in the first example, by just by clicking, oh, we'll just adjust it, close that tool, um, by going to File, Save As, and save it as X3B underscore result. That was exercise 3B.